Meena and her friends were going back home from school. They saw something strange on the road. They saw that a long army of ants were moving. They bent down to watch the ants carefully. A lot of ants were carrying grains of rice and millet. Oh hey, are they carrying rice grains? Do ants eat rice too? Of course, Amina. All living beings of this world need food to survive. Oh wow, I really want to know how this little creature eats food. Let's observe them closely to know. Ibrahim immediately took out the lens from his bag and all of them started chasing the ants. They saw the ants stopped at one place. With the help of lens, they managed to observe the ants very closely and became very excited to see them eating. One of them was eating the rice grain and the other one was feeding on an insect. How wonderful it was to watch these ants eating. Let's share this with all of our friends tomorrow. Hey, I have never thought these small ants can eat all this. Meanwhile, the teacher entered the class and heard the conversation. Wow, kids, you all have observed very well. Teacher, may I ask you a question? Yes, definitely, Meena. My domestic cow only eats hay. Why doesn't she eat insects like the ants? This is an interesting question. Let's find the answer through a game. Are you all ready? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Stand up in a row in the middle of the class. I will give a slip to each one of you. Each slip has the name of a food, such as lentils, potatoes, chicken curry, biryani, vermicelli, paneer bhurji, etc. Each child was given a slip in which the name of one type of food was written. If the source of that food is plant, then move to the right hand side and if the source is animal like eggs milk etc you move to your left side and if the source is related to both plants and animals then stick to the middle position one two three as soon as the teacher counted three, some children in the class jumped to the right side and some to the left. And while some jumped in the middle, all the kids enjoyed jumping. Sohan, Ibrahim and some more children were on the right. Mohan and Amina were on the left and Meena and some other kids were standing in the middle. Thus, three groups were formed in the class. In the first group, everyone had slips of food made from the ingredients which come from the plants. In the second, from both the sources, that is plant and animal sources. And in the third, only the children with slips of food from the animal source. Like Sohan got pulses, Ibrahim got potato, Mohan got chicken curry, Meena got paneer bhurji and Amina got boiled egg on the slip. Let me explain it to you. So our food comes from two types of sources. Food is important for every organism and these organisms eat different types of food. Organisms that consume food from plant source only such as vegetables, fruits, pulses are called herbivores. Such organisms that consume food from animal source only are called carnivores. And the organisms that eat food both from plant source and animals are called omnivores. So this means that my cow is a herbivore and that aunt omnivore. Meena is absolutely right. Teacher, we get milk, ghee and butter from animals too. So all those who eat these are also non-vegetarians. Try to find it out yourself and let's have a discussion about this tomorrow. Today after going home, I will tell everyone that I have got to know about the various sources of food and learn about herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. I will inquire everyone 
ओएस हर्वीवोर कार्निवोर और ओमनीवोर विल यू इंटेरोगेट विथ योर पेट डॉग